Bomb, but probably leaning a little bit more towards KV1 since he didn't play in that first game. I want to see how he slots back in here once the rest of the team's been warmed up. Oh yeah. Now it's time. Let's find out. Let's see what KV1's got. Like you stated, he's the only one in this lobby that... Well, he might have had a warm-up. We don't really know. But, you know, he didn't have a warm-up in-game. And already, KV1 putting a shot on target. Not able to get it past Knight. But a lot of pressure coming out from Team Secret. Onto this Ninjas in Pajamas backline. Not too bad either. Team Secret. Insane amount of pressure for a very early start. Even on low boost, Mata is still able to keep this one forward. Great follow-up from Brad as well. Uh-oh. Swift second touch made no connection, which meant it was an opportunity, but KV1, same situation. Low and slow connections right now is kind of keeping Team Secret away from putting as many shots as they would like. And Astro just runs away with it. Nobody able to get back in time to make the save. And Ninjas and Pajamas sneak their way onto the board. Yeah, I mean, wow. That was just a great read out of Astro right there. He understood the assignment. He said, listen, there's nobody in between me and this net right now. If I just speed on ahead and get this ball ahead of them, they're not going to be able to catch up to it. And that's exactly what happened. So a great read by him. Not just looking to get the clear, but going for the gusto, getting that first goal. It was a great first goal indeed. I don't want to discredit it just because it was like a long clear out. It was a good one to be able to catch the defense off guard. Oh, yeah. Now Team Secret trying to respond to it. Well, in the other way can be said, NIP just trying to continue to extend their lead, and they do. That was a full-on charge from Ninjas and Pajamas. You saw Knight in the air. He tried to go for the bump play, couldn't find it, and instead it was a bounce up and a clean follow from Swift. High risk, high reward is the name of the game for Ninjas and Pajamas, and it's paying off. Yeah, that's just confidence coming out from Ninjas and Pajamas, doing great right there to keep this one going in their favor. They've acquired that cushion. Now the question is, how are they going to play with it? Is Are we going to see NIP start to get a little bit more aggressive, or are we going to see them start to start to turtle up a bit and just play a little bit more defensively? I mean, I don't 100% have a prediction on it. If I'm being completely honest, it still feels like it could go either way for both of these teams. But for now, Woo! Team Secret, they're doing exactly what I thought was going to happen, which is get Mata and KV1 involved on a lot of these plays here just because both are so incredible offensively. And yeah, that's what it did. It took teamwork to get around the defense on that one. They put themselves onto the board and they cut that lead in half. That was a nasty play coming out of Team Seeker right there. KV1 able to get on the board. I'm sure he's gonna be feeling really good about that. First goal of the day after having to sit out and watch from the sidelines for one. Now, Going to be looking to find that equalizer. Plenty of time left for Team Secret to be able to do that. I'm just wondering who it's going to be that's going to be able to find that one for Team Secret. Is KV1 going to have his second goal of this game, of this series, of his day, to be able to find that equalizer and make this one a little bit more in your favor? Because I feel like if this ends up going to an overtime, the Team Secret's going to have the upper hand. That honestly is a very valid statement. I, I don't know what the head-to-head -head on these two teams look like. I'd be very curious to see if there's, like, history on it. But for now, the way Team Secret have played, I would argue in-game or OT, they just seem to have a little bit better control in terms of pacing themselves and making sure that they're not over-committing. Ninjas and Pajamas on the flip side of things, they're, they're playing a patient game, but almost a little bit too patient, and at times they're getting themselves caught out. That's an easy cleanup. The, the misconnect on this one just dropping down and they're no they're not being a clear follow unfortunate for ninjas and pajamas but a great play for team secret yeah, and this time it's going to be brad on the cleanup not typically the player that we'd expect to be doing that for his squad but hey listen somebody's got to do it at the end of the day brad says why not me now let's see what kv1 and mata can do to try to keep this momentum going is brad looking to get into the mix as well almost able to get it but it does go off slightly to the right of the post. Yet again, Team Secret putting on so much aggression to this Ninjas in Pajamas. Defensive line not able to do anything quite yet as the defense is holding strong, but Team Secret still doing everything they can to keep NIP directly on their toes. Very slow game right now. Nobody 
Really able to get this ball and just hold on to it for longer than a few seconds right now. Great shot on target. This one sent off. Knight trying to make a center. KV1 to just stop it in its tracks. And these demos sending everybody home. Mata, the one though to clear and let Team Secret out of their own half. Although they did finally get some breathing room, it is enough for everybody to get some boost and try and defend these next few shots that are coming through. Just over a minute to go, still tied game. No boost in the tank means it's a follow-up opportunity from Ninjas in Pajamas to the backboard. No defense, great shot and follow-up from Astro. And you saw the plan unfold itself from the get-go. It was just Knight trying to make the angle, but instead Astro said no. Don't sweat it too hard. That's what teammates are for. I'll push this one through and NIP go up by one. Yeah, now just a minute remaining for Team Secret to try and pull this one out. They're gonna need to go clutch in a major way if they want to stay in this game. So right now, the favorites in this series are faltering just a tad bit in game number one. Yeah, this is a little bit of shaky ground for Team Secret, especially with how incredible they played in, in their first uh, initial series. But you do have to remember, their first series was played with their coach in it. And usually you would think, all oh, right, things would, you know, flip into a world where you put KV1 back in place of their coach. And it, this would just be an explosive series for Team Secret. But right now, I think, you know, having Mata sit back a little bit more might be odd for him after how much action he had. He's having to play probably more patient than he would like to right now. But unfortunately for him, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. And that is the game plan right now. Two seconds on the clock. This one could hit the ground. Ninjas in pajamas still ring. have this one in the bag. And as that one hit the ground, well, they absolutely be in favor, right? But not only is it a match point, it's a massive swing game. If somebody can take that game number two, you pretty much control how the rest of the momentum is favored. So there is a world where Team Secret, if they take game number two, they can put this back into their hands. And Brad's trying to start that off for them. Shot sent off by Astromic. This one to the backboard. Mata just bumped off for his efforts, poor thing. And there you have it, NIP on their first transition out. And yeah, now it's gonna be Team Secret trying to Keep this one in the NIP half for now, but a big clear gonna be coming in from Knight. Trying to set up an opportunity for this roster, but Brad is gonna be there to get a touch onto it, keeping it in the midfield, heading right back to the Team Secret net. Brad's gonna be awarded with a save, and now heading back the other end, the bump comes through, and no! Just like that, Astro barely able to get the save onto that one. Yeah, that's extremely unfortunate. But again, we're only a minute into this one, so there's plenty of time and game to work with. Big clear, Mata pass over to Brad. Brad pops this one up into the air. He's got two players headed towards him. He gets past one, but there's two more in his face. And it's low boost, but still successful defense from Ninjas in Pajamas. Just one shot after the other to fend for themselves. And they're trying to race towards this ball here, but Brad there to collect once in on the action. This one immediately sent down. Sent down and out, 90 seconds in. Nobody's been able to break this ice just quite yet. Game number one of I believe the first series that we just, uh, just witnessed this last series. We went quite some time without a goal. And I pointed it out, it might happen again. Yeah, there's a world where this just continues to remain extremely close and then we get like these crazy shootouts towards the end. These are <laughs> yep. two These are two fairly patient teams, I think, because they also know what is on the line, right? You don't wanna you don't wanna force yourself into too many mistakes. I think there's also the self awareness that K V one is kinda getting back into the swing of things. It's his first series of the day in, in competition and even if you warm up on the side, nothing compares to actually competing in, in the moment, right? So trying to get his footing a little bit, trying to help his team get back together. It's a fake to leave this for KV1, but still Swift has the read, the prediction on it, pulls through successfully. I don't know if they can do it again. Oh. They didn't, but unfortunately for, for Team Secret accuracy, my goodness, that just goes off the side. And not able to capitalize. Oh man, what a save gonna be coming in from Brad. 
able to keep this one out of the net just barely. And both of these squads are giving it their all. So much power is being put behind the ball, trying to make it go past any of these defenders. That's not going to be the case. Is Astro taking this one yet again into the possession of NIP down into this team's secret half, but not able to do much with it. It's just a whole lot of back and forth. Nobody really able to get a solid possession just quite yet. Exactly. Are you really just waiting to see who the first person is going to be to keep this ball a little bit closer than the rest? I think right now, a lot of these clears just continue to fall into the hands of the others, or challenges come through so quickly that you just don't have the time and uh, the opportunity to hold on to this ball as much as you might like. This one off the sidewall, Mata saw it as an opportunity. He slows it down, takes the 50 and wins it. Great play coming out of Mata right there. He read this one absolutely exquisitely. Swift tried to get a nice touch to get the clear, but waiting right there. Team Secret, ready to make this thing happen. They have the advantage. Will they be able to hang on to this one? It's only 90 seconds left. So right now, NIP are gonna need to really throw everything everything in the kitchen sink at this one if they want to be able to come back. They're going to need to figure out a way to get in this team secret back half. Get that ball into that net. Just over a minute left to go. You just got to find something. I think right now playing the high game just hasn't quite been NIP's strong suit against the team secret defense. Team secret though on the flip side of things just Taking shot after shot, bumping NIP back into their own half. This one out into the corner, around one side and to the other. And for now, Team Secret, you can take a million shots and waste all the seconds, and it could be enough, but that clear almost became lethal. The demos are starting to come out, and somehow, Mata keeps Team Secret in this game with their one goal lead. Yeah, just barely. That pressure is going to start to mount on this team secret half as NIP trying to get possession of it. Mata doing everything he can to keep the possession away from NIP, but that's going to be a big demo going to be coming out. Astro looking for the center. No bumps going to be coming out, though, so another opportunity not able to be capitalized on on this NIP side. This one, it might be a 1-1 series. We just got to wait and see because you never know with NIP. And there we go. Okay. Team Secret able to take game number two. So we got ourselves a really, really tight series right now. A couple. Maybe the answer is they aren't. Maybe we're just going to keep on getting close <laughs> games. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe we go to game five with one goal games in OT every single time. Hey, you predicted a game five. I wouldn't be mad if that were the case. You know, these squads, they definitely deserve it for sure. But like we stated, we are far from done on the day. We've got a whole nother match after this one, a whole nother series to go through. Whole nother three series, I believe, right? Yeah, a whole nother three yeah, series there, after there this. There might be another, another two or three waiting for you guys on the other end of that bracket. Oh yeah, that'll be fun. So a lot of awesome Rocket League action that we are witnessing here today. So if you're a fan of Rocket League, a fan of, you know, the South America region, especially, you're gonna wanna hang around here for the next couple hours. It's gonna be a lot of fun, especially the further we get in this bracket. Where we're at right now, tied series, almost a lead on the board, but it goes away. This one in the backboard, great clear off by Swift. And a beat by KV1 forces this one to remain in favor of Team Secret. Great pop up there from Brad as well, back over to himself. Demo sends him back off the field though. And Ninjas in Pajamas, they wanted to turn that into a counter, but they couldn't quite get a grip on it. Which, I mean, you gotta, you gotta respect it. Team Secret doing a great job of just stopping Ninjas in Pajamas in the tracks every single time. Yeah, not letting anything through. Just making any bit of hope that they have just absolutely die out. Great stuff coming in, but here we go. Potential double, leaving it off. Astro's not going to be able to do much with it. Actually got a pretty decent touch onto it. Shock was able to hit that angle. But either way, Team Secret on the defensive end yet again holding the line. Just over three minutes to go. 
Nobody's been able to find anything. There's been a number of opportunities. You've seen attempts at bump plays. You've seen attempts at centers and tee-ups off the backboard, but nobody has been able to find their way through, which leads me to think this is going to be some standard Rocket League kind of thing where whoever finally finds their way in, it is off the craziest of defensive mistakes. And just as I say it, it <laughs> happens. It's the cheat out and the beat out. KV1 just pushed up too far and Knight takes notice. It's the pass and the clear. Ninjas and pajamas take the lead. You spoke it into existence, Eric. You, you did it again. Here we go. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, ninjas in pajamas, able to find the answer after a lot of struggles, and just like that, KV one answers back. We got to tie game again. Okay, we thought that one of the teams was gonna be able to, to you know, inch their way ahead, but just like that, KV one says, "Nope, back to a tie game." <laughs> I don't even know if that like would have still stayed out, but honestly, this is the most Rocket League thing to happen. It's a crazy response <laughs> a few seconds later after nobody scoring for two minutes. Do your thing. Second half of the game goes in, back on even playing ground. This time though, with a one-to-one -one score line. Brad up into the air, no boost in the tank, means Mata has to attempt to make the redirect on it. Knight saw it, he stopped it. And Astro's up next, but it's a great read from Mata. Again, Team Secret just anticipating NIP, trying to set themselves up from the backboard. They've been able to slow them down a lot. It's a misconnect on a demo bump attempt from NIP, which allows Team Secret to break into that blue half there and make a shot of their own. Yeah, now two minutes remaining. Team Secret still trying to do everything they can to put this pressure on. A nice center coming in. From Mata, but not gonna find anyone, unfortunately. KV1's there with another center. Great passes coming out from Team Secret. Trying to get ahead in this game, in this series. That shot a little bit wide, but KV1 is right there for the cleanup off the backboard. I like this one. It's just a, a little bit of a slower play here, just working together to get Woo. around the defense. But again, Patience is what I told everybody Team Secret's, you know, key to success was in that first game. They had to work around some obstacles, and now that KV1 is back, it's just quick, easy adjustments. I don't know why that was not a oh. shot taken on target uh. and why it went wide, but you know what? I'm not going to judge you too hard. You're in, a, you're in a one goal lead. You go for the demo play. If you bake this angle or this bake, I'll, I'll forgive. You did it. All is forgive. All is well. All is forgiven. It, it's okay. It's all right. But yeah, that was a little ridiculous. Okay, sometimes you can overpass, and that was definitely an instance of overpassing. But they made up for it. So Team Secret find themselves having the advantage now in this game. Two goal lead. I mean, it seems like a massive lead at this point, the way this series has been going. <laughs> Two goals seems like a lot. It really, it, honestly, it is a lot with the with the sheer amount of defense that Team Secret's been able to put up. It makes things so much more difficult for ninjas in pajamas, even if they are able to pull out all the bells and whistles with the bumps and the demos and the passing plays. Team Secret has just been really accurate with being able to anticipate where a lot of the NIP shots are coming from. But more importantly, when they have the ball, they are just flinging it towards the blue net, right? And that wastes so many opportunities for there to be enough time for your, for NIP to come back. So Team Secret doing a great job, keeping their game plan going. All you gotta do is waste the next 30 seconds and it's yours. And in Rocket League, time is opportunity. So all the time the Team Secret's able to kill is gonna be amazing. But as I say that, Astro bringing us within one with 24 seconds left, so as much defense as they tried to play it ends up not mattering at all i just pulled off the craziest caster curse ever because i was, you did you did i was <laughs> saying a compliment but i accidentally said it to the wrong team corrected myself and then they pulled off exactly what i said <laughs> so you know what i manifested it on accident for you congratulations you got 13 seconds to do it again nip team secret Back pass over to Mata. Eight seconds on the clock. This one around the corner. It's a, it's another shot opportunity, but this one defended by Brad. And Brad knows all he has to do is kill this ball, but into the hands of Knight. It's a 1v1 on Mata. This one killed to the ground. Team oh. Secret at the end with a few seconds left. Have to defend one more.
tiny bit uh, in this second one, but they seem to have it under control for the time being. Off the kickoff, Mata shot of his own. This one just a bit too high, unfortunately, but Team Secret not too bad off the rip. Yeah, able to put in some good pressure, but they do have to watch out for those counters coming in from NIP. Nice touch gonna be coming in from Mata. Not able to get the bump. He does get cleared away to the side. But able to get corralled by Brad. Now what's Brad going to be able to do with it? A whole lot as he gets it past one, but not able to get it past the second and third. Unfortunate for them, but this isn't the end of the play. You got to keep on going. Team Secret trying to keep the pressure on. Round one, Mata pulls himself off of the play there, which allows Ninjas and Pajamas to kind of regain control a little bit. And a crazy cheat up oh. from Swift. It's just been bumps all over the end, but with that comes a huge risk, and Team Secret took note of it. They forced NIP to run back to their own half. They've done this multiple times, but for some reason, they are just fast enough to win that race. Yeah, Brad with a couple of incredible saves to keep this one at a 0-0 scoreline so far. It's game number four. Nothing is going to be coming easy for either one of these squads. Seems like both teams are just looking to play mistake-free. Not looking to overcommit, not looking to, to make the flashy play, to be the solo hero, even though we know it's so cool when a player can do that, just take the game over. It's better to win as a team, for sure, especially in these clutch moments where each game has been relatively close and one goal could literally be the difference from ending it here or going to potential game five. Exactly. I, th I think you kind of hit the nail on the head with that one, like being able to, to be aware that teamwork is really what's going to get things done. And Ninjas and Pajamas, the first ones to utilize that night from the corner to set up Swift. And well, KV1 just didn't have a great read on it. Ninjas and Pajamas. Although, yes, they are on the board first, and yes, they are in a technical lead. We've seen Team Secret respond very quickly before. It was a big clear off one. Knight is just hammering this one towards the midfield line, saying, no, please don't respond within 10. And now with three minutes remaining in this one, Team Secret has to find a way back into it. If they truly want to end this one out, Knight gets the demo onto KV1, but Mata answers right back with a demo of his own onto Swift. So both squads getting very aggressive right now. NIP doing a solid job of Honestly, just staying in this one. The way that they're able to hang in there against Team Secret and just keep this pressure on and not let NI or not let uh, Team Secret, excuse me, try to get back into this game number four. It's been really, really impressive. Even though it's only a one goal advantage, the way that NIP has been playing this one out has been so, so solid. It really has. What's been happening a lot is Team Secret are trying to clear this ball forward and follow it up, but. Ninjas and Pajamas, they've done a great job of catching that ball and immediately just driving it upfield. And what it does is it stops any play that Team Secret has in its tracks. And now they're adding a new layer of frustration in, which is the bumps. And now they can beat them out. It's a double off the ground to himself to put NIP up by two. Wow, what a shot right there. Knight is not playing around. Like you stated, it was able to use the ground to his advantage. And now they got a 2-0 advantage, so here we go. They played patient, they waited for their opportunity, and then they struck just like that. Team Secret wasn't ready whatsoever. Now they're a minute 40 away from forcing that overtime. Forcing that game of five, excuse me. Minute 33, Mata looks like he could run away with it. He tried to get someone's ankles broken, but nobody, everybody stood, well, tall off this one. Mata, no boost in the tank. A lot of plays being made on very low boost for Team Secret, which isn't what you want to see. Here's another one, KV1 trying to force this one down. Not too bad to break past defense, but it's just an easy clear for Ninjas in Pajamas. And with just over a minute to go, there's a lot of work to be done if Team Secret wants to catch up. As right now, I mean, like you stated, they have to put on the afterburners. It's now or never for this Team Secret squad if they don't want to see that game number five. 
Your Ninjas in pajamas are doing a great job of looking like they're ready to force here and now. They're playing safe, not sorry. Just making sure they keep these rotations on point. If anyone gets demoed, doesn't matter. We've got another person back. As you can see right there, they had two people in the net ready for that save. NIP are playing extremely defensive. You can't let it come back to bite you, though. Oh, man, wow. Swift said, you know what? I'm going to make sure there's no chance that it'll come back to bite me. 24 seconds left. Having a 3-0 advantage. Herc, it's looking like we're heading to game five. It, there definitely is a very solid chance that that is about uh, what we are about to see. I got to give huge props to Swift, though, on that one. There's been so many times where I've seen him cheat up at the mid and try and go a little bit past it. And I think, my goodness, it takes one clear from Team Secret to just completely take advantage or excuse me for. Yeah, yeah, for Team Secret to completely take advantage of them. But he has paid off every single time. Four seconds on the clock, it's just not enough. There's maybe one you can take on the road for confidence. But at the end of the day, we are headed to a game five here. So fun, and I don't know, this is, a, this is definitely a coin toss in this game number five. Well, I'll let you redo your prediction then. Who are you taking? Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. <laughs> Uh, uh, honestly, you know what? I'm. I think I'm. I would go NIP after that. I think Swift has looked incredible. I think their their game plan to to slow down Team Secret has been fairly successful. And if they can recreate what they just did, there is a world where Ninjas and Pajamas beat down Team Secret in Game Five. Okay. Well, no matter what you said, I was going the opposite. So let's see <laughs> Team Secret pull this game five out right here and now. I think they've got something secret up their sleeves that they've been saving for game five. We'll see if they'll be able to make it happen. Honestly valid. Whatever whatever you want, we'll make it more <laughs> fun. Around the corner, this one, it's a little bit of a half clear back out. And Swift, I don't know if you have to hit Brad that many times, but you know what? To each their own, this is an insane amount of pressure from NIP. Finally, KV1 breaks them out, but immediately sent back. Swift to the board, enough space for a double, and Ninjas and Pajamas put themselves in the lead. Yeah, right now it's about to be Team Secret in Pajamas because it's going to be Team Secret going night-night pretty soon. They're going to need to figure out how to get back into this game because Ninjas and Pajamas, they've got all the momentum right here now. 3.52 on the clock. Just a one goal lead, looking to extend it into two. Swift around, gets past one, and you can see NIP as a whole, those last two players playing the risky game of pushing up past mid. And the one thing I do gotta say is, you gotta be careful when doing that. Eventually, Team Secret is gonna take notice, and they know it just takes one on-target clear to beat them out. So that's pretty much what's going on right now. Finally, Team Secret, Shot opportunity, it's a floater. That one could have been it. Mana had the, the boost to push forward if he wanted to. I think he just wasn't ready to anticipate something that could have gone in their favor for once. I think he hesitated. I, honestly, it, I feel like was. he saw it, it coming. He you just- You could see it. it. It was almost like he didn't believe the opportunity that he almost had and like it, it was there. He just didn't, didn't take it on time. So unfortunately, Team Secret are gonna need to find another way to get back into this one. It's not going to be off that opportunity, which means they have to find a way to make another one for themselves. And that's going to be very, very tough because the way NIP has been holding this back line has been oh so impressive. So now it's going to be all on a team secret to make something out of nothing. Second half of the game underway, and we're going to enter it on even playing ground as Brad is the one to put Team Secret onto the board. You saw Mata set him up. He went for the bump, and it was just enough space to sneak his way through. And at 2.35 on the clock, we've got a one-to-one -one headline. And it's so wild because this is a money match directly. If you win this series, guess what? You're in the money, it's that simple. And you don't gotta worry about anything. But if you lose this series, then you gotta battle it out to try and stay in that top four. So for both of these squads right here, two minutes remaining, it's a tie game, and thousands of dollars are on the line. It does not get better than this. No, it does not. A pinch off the ground. Anticipation from Mata though, keeps it from crossing the midfield line. 
And same can be said for KV1. Again, pass over to Brad. Just trying to slow things down. Use the reset. Double off the side. Follow up and oh. through from none other than KV1. Finally, we are starting to see the team secret that we wanted to see in games one and two. They are here. And that, that is the team that Ninjas and Pajamas have been waiting and fearing. Oh yeah. Makes me super, super happy to be able to see this squad putting in this work, having this advantage right here. Two minutes remaining. But the question is, are they gonna be able to build off of it? You don't want to start playing in that turtle shell defense because that's when things can go awry for you. If you don't put enough pressure on, you end up getting bottled up and something gets through. So we'll see exactly how Team Secret are gonna play this out having the advantage. Opportunity for Astro. Gets taken off by Moda. It's a great save. Follow up from Knight. Crossbar down and out. And Swift is up next. It's just one shot after the other. That was a great one. He left it for Knight there. Unfortunately for him, Mata anticipated it. But on low boost, he tries 50 it back. KV1 to bail him out. And Ninjas in Pajamas just trying to work together to find some sort of an opportunity here. This one over one, KV1, past night, Swift is lurking, Mata's lurking, one minute on the clock, and Team Secret are holding on to this one goal lead for life. Yeah, but we know what happens with one goal leads. They are not safe. You gotta play it out till that ball drops at zero. No time to, to relax if you're Team Secret. Yes, you've been able to find the advantage. You're probably feeling really good right now, but right here is when you gotta Put it all together, everything you've been practicing, all that teamwork, that coordination, it's gotta stick right here for these last 30 seconds. Exactly, just gotta remain consistent. Maybe one for the road home, could be interesting. This one doesn't find its way through, and now an opportunity. You see Ninjas in Pajamas just rushing forward, trying to go for the bumps. It's a clear out to midnight, keeps this one at bay, but unfortunately for him, this is now a 2v1. Astro keeps this one out, eight seconds on the clock here. Mata, if he puts this one in, it's done. It's a bounce up. Four, three, two touches, and this one's in. Brad ends it here. Team Secret. Send ninjas and pajamas running. Just like that, it happens. Team Secret clutch it up when they need to the most. What a series. This one was back and forth, left, right, and center. We had no idea who was going to.